Boy, this ain't it, so uh, this ain't it. Anyway, <laughs> this ain't it, shot. I feel like crud, but I feel like uh um what it is, everybody. It's your boy Mike Rich. Hope everybody having a blessed Sunday today, man. Uh, I just got back from Orlando, Florida with my wife, my daughter, and her best friend. And we was at uh we did the um whole Disney thing for my daughter's birthday. Her birthday was on the 15th. We got out there Wednesday. We got back yesterday, uh, Saturday. So, um, I came back with Gungus McClungus. I came back sick. I got sick like the second or third day we was out there. And I just been feeling like crap ever since. They're like, I've been feeling like terrible, bro. Um, I take some Motrin and feel better for about four hours, and then I start feeling bad again. But anyway, I think I'm on that. I'm think I'm on the tail end of it now. Some of the mucus is starting to come up. Y'all don't want to hear about all that, but man, anyway. <clears throat> so that being said, I was at amusement parks for the last few days. I think I overexerted myself because I did not want to let my daughter and my you know my family down. I wanted to be able to go to the amusement park, so I went while I was still feeling like that. I still went out to the parks and stuff. And of course, I didn't get a chance to get them Jordan 7 Cardinal guys. So I'm at the mall now. Don't know how this release did at all. There probably was other places online I can buy them, but I wanted to go get me a pair and do a pickup and actually have them in hand. You know what I'm saying? Right away. But, um, one of my favorite Jordans ever. Y'all know 7 my favorite silhouette. You know, Cardinal 7 is one of the best colorways with Jordan 7s. Watch the, uh, documentary Airtime growing up. Just my childhood is Jordan 7. It, these Cardinals is one of them. And I had not seen these shoes in hand. I started to buy them early and I, I actually did. I tried on foot patrol overseas in the UK, but they kept canceling my order. So I was like, well, I guess I'm going to have to wait the release day. And this is the day after release. It's been a long time since it's been a shoe that I actually, actually absolutely wanted bad. Like I knew I was going to cop, but I wait, I just waited to release day to cop. And just because they joined sevens, I'm thinking I might look up and get a pair here. Maybe not. We're going to see if I can get me a size 12 of these things, man. So anyway, uh, today for the fit, your boy got on a, uh, Quavo new era collab hat. Uh, Atlanta Braves guy. You feel me? Uh, let's get out of the car to see the rest of the fit. Uh, Olive tech fleece, the whole shebang going on. This hat would go perfect with these, uh, these guy right here, the trainer. Um, and Saquon Barkley, guys. So, Saquon Barkley trainers, you feel me? Um, dripping, St. Dripping time, even though I'm sick, you feel me? Hey, man, obviously, a lot more people wanted these uh sevens than I thought. Yeah, I keep forgetting, you know, it's holiday time, people trying to get gifts and stuff like that. So, and then, like I said, I think there's a lot more people that actually wanted this, who, who go for the OG colorways. So, a lot of the younger guys might like them, but a lot of the older guys, you know, they just remember the shoe. So, I'm thinking that's what's happening. Like I said, I find me, I just want, want one size 12. I ain't no reseller. I ain't trying to get a whole bunch of them. I just want to pedal, put on feet. You feel me? So, hopefully, I can find some. I'm going to uh, JD Sports first. So, see if JD Sports got a pair for the kid. Let's do it. Stone Crest Mall. Somebody have a pair for the kid. Come on. Uh, get down here to the J's. Uh oh, oh, they got them. They got them. They got them. Now I gotta see if they got my side, bro. I ain't gonna go crazy looking at them in here. If I can, if I can get a side 12, I'll do a proper, uh, proper review back in the whip. But there they is. Let's see if they got a 12, man. Here go them trash there. Nice there, drop. These available, so hopefully my I get my sevens in the side twelve. Hey, yeah, you talking about? We got all the dunk action in there, guy. We got these dunks. I don't know if I've ever seen the colorway. Them clean. We got these right here. That ain't bad either. We got the green guy. I really like these right here. It's like the Miami Hurricane colorway. They're clean right here. Surprised they get out of these sin. They must do some kind of uh, restock or something. I like them, but I'm here for them sevens. That's what I got these right here. Comment tell me what y'all think. I like these though. These hard. Damn, bro. So they had everything but my size 12 in there. Hopefully, another one of these stores got a 12. 
They had 11 and a half and a 13, bro. So, whew. They're getting tight. Doing the whole vlog. I might not even get the shoe in the vlog. You feel me? I'm pretty sure they're available online somewhere. So if I don't get them this way, I get them. You know, I look, I look around for them a little bit. I got a hibbit I can run to. Let's see if they got them. But uh, I'm about to walk down here to Foot Locker and Champs, who always get their shoes late. I kind of like doubt that either one of them stores gonna have them. Um, and I'm gonna try Snipes upstairs. Let's see. Like I said, Champs ain't even got them, bro. I'm not surprised that Champs ain't got them. Don't be having that. God dang, bro. Y'all gonna put up a fight? Y'all gonna make me try their hard for this shoe, bro? For some sevens? Come on, y'all. Yeah, man, and them champs ain't got them. I know Foot Locker ain't gonna have them. It's like I know this mall at the back of my hand. If champs ain't got them, I know Foot Locker ain't gonna have them. They pretty much get the same shipment. Oh, I was wrong this time. Let's see if they got a 12. They do have them in here. Let's see if they got a 12. But what? These is Adidas? Woo! Ultimate Mega. Bumblebee stompers. How many midsole we got? One, two, three. Three and a half midsole shoe ass. With the honeycomb on them, boy. Woo! I don't know, ladies, y'all rocking with these. Let me know. Out real quick, make sure. Make sure they nice and crispy. People are behind me, so let me get out there line. But I do have to check my pal when I'm spinning. Can I get 210 or something, maybe? Yeah. 226 80 with tag. She already know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sometimes it is good to be wrong. Sometimes it's good to be wrong, bro. I, 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 I was thinking that uh, that uh, Foot Locker ain't going to have them. Because usually them and Champs get the same stock. If Champs ain't got it, Foot Locker ain't got it. Plus, Foot Locker get a lot of their sneakers late. But like I said, some, sometimes it's good to be wrong, man. Bag secured. Pair secured, Cardinal seven things. You feel me? While I'm here, I might as well see who else got them. So far, JD Sports and uh, Foot Locker had them. See if DTLR and uh, Snipes got them too. Got them, got them. And yes, they do have the Cardinals as well. You can't beat it. Like the OG stuff and the GR stuff is gonna sit nowadays, man. It's a good thing. These mids look real similar to them uh, blue ones that's supposed to be coming out soon. The ones that look like the storm blue, but they got like gray or something going on them. Y'all know what I'm talking about. They look real similar to them. Last but not least, Snipes. I'm getting a good idea who, who got them now. Um, I'm pretty much thinking Champs might have been the only one that didn't get them. Like I said, um, and I think Nike and Jordan Brand starting to like do restocks on a lot of stuff. Just because around the holiday time, they know all this stuff gonna sell out. But they got the sevens as well. Actually got these Winterized threes too. AKA Archeo Brown or whatever the hell they were calling me. Pretty clean. Uh, these go on sale at the outlets or something. I cop them for like $109.99. You hear me? <laughs> I like them though. I got some old dunks. Got a lot of dunks, uh, dunk lows in the mall today. I think some oversaturation is happening. It's crazy because I was on the inside. They got these on the mannequin outside, but they not in the, on the inside nowhere. So. Them Bo Jacksons, I guess, are for display only. You talk about. Seems like the Taxi 12s, this is the GS side. It seems like they finally sold out. Because I hadn't seen them in men's, men's sizes nowhere in here. So, there's that. Anyway, let's go ahead and get back to the whip and give y'all a proper review on these Air Jordan 7 Cardinal things, man. Let's do it. Yes, indeed. We back. Like we never left. Yes, sir. I still feel like uh, ish on a stick, but uh, you feel me? Got a little energy from my pickup, man. I needed these for the collection. I had the 2011. Who the hell keep blowing that horn? I had the 2011 pair. That was the last one I had. I bought it from like a sneaker event, and it was used. Still look pretty new. I forgot who I bought it from, um, but. That shoe right there didn't have the right shape. They look like they got them right this time. You feel me? So anyway, people blowing their horn, man. You know, make me even reach for that. Yeah, you hear me? Get away from me. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't with it today. Or I am with it. You feel me? So anyway, let's get into the shoes, man. I didn't want to go crazy showing the shoe 
in the store because I know I want. If I did get it, I was gonna do a proper like little, not a real review. You know what I'm saying? But um, just like a pickup review. You know what I'm saying? Oh, boy, let's see what he like So anyway, this is. I needed these, man. I needed these in the collection. These is the Air Jordan Seven Retro. Official colorway is white, black, cardinal red. Uh, the retail price was two ten. Like old girl said, it was two twenty something with tax or whatever. And I'm not surprised these didn't sell out. Not surprised in the least little bit. But they were selling out. They, it, it felt like old bus said it was the last twelve, and they had everything but a twelve in JD Sports. I mean, the 12s be going first for some reason now. It used to be the smaller sizes. Now it's the bigger sizes. Let's check them out. <laughs> yes, sir, Ski. These is hard. The only thing I don't like, and I noticed this before I even got the shoe, is they should have did the same thing they did with the Jordan 3. When they brought the Jordan 3 back to the original shape, if you look at the OG of the Cardinal 7, you don't see the color overlapping the tongue in the front like this right here it's not a big gripe but it's just like why not make it exactly the same you can only see you know what i'm saying the cardinal color in the back and on the front it just looked like a white tongue other than that they they pretty much got these down like the og man like the one back in the day the shape is perfect i mean i got i just still own a pair of 1992 olympics and this looks really similar to that shape bro so I mean, boy, look how they did the leather, man. The leather is good. Woo! So let's some little, let some more light in here, man. Let some more light in here. Man, the leather is good, bro. Look at me, look at him in the sun. Man, he hard. I look. This is like one of my favorite colorways, bro. Had that gold jump man going right there. Woo! Gold jump man guy. Got that black underneath. I like the black suede hit underneath right there. So fresh. Um, Cardinal hits on the mountain peaks. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I remember looking at the video uh, on Sneakers app. They do do the little live videos, and I was nervous because on when they showed these on on the little live sneakers little thing they be doing upcoming releases, the the Cardinal color looked real light. But in hand, I don't know what it was something wrong with they cameras or whatever. But it does have that dark Cardinal look. You know what I'm saying? Like it's supposed to, like the OGs had. Oh, my size 12 tag all shifted around in there. What they doing? Size 12 sticker. You know what I'm saying? Your boy size. Man, I love, my, I love how this little suede black. I know this always been on there, but just looking at how that kind of go behind the white. And I am usually don't like predominantly white shoes, but these right here, these go crazy. The whole black mint sole is what bring the shoe out. It got the whole like black mint sole going around the shoe. White upper gold hits. Got the gold um, pull strap in the back with the Cardinal 7 right here. See that 7? Y'all know y'all know that y'all know what that is. That's 7. That's why I don't really, I'm not super excited about them uh, experimenting with putting that Nike Air on the back of 7s. Nike Air ain't never been on the back of 7s. It don't look bad, but I mean, why do it if it's if that's not the way, it, you know, it can, you know what I'm saying? Um that new 7 that's dropping, they already got them on Foot Patrol too. It's I can't remember the name, but it looked like a Black History Month shoe, but it's like the Olive or something whatever. That one got the Nike Air on the back too. Um <clears throat> They didn't give us the little chrome lace tips, but I don't think the OGs had that anyway. 2006, 2011 pairs had that. I think one of them was gold, had the gold one. And I think the 2011 had like the uh, chrome one, which is weird because why would you put chrome lace tips when you got these gold hits? I have no idea. Um, but they hard, man. Like, I checked my pair. Y'all see me checking my pair before I left because this was literally the last 12. And um, if it was a jacked up pair, I probably would have just went somewhere else and, and tried to find it somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? But look at the shape. Like I said, the shape. I always said, if y'all look at some of my older videos, I've always said this this part up here needs to arch upwards like like that. You know what I'm saying? And it needs to be way higher than the and then the rest of the shoe slopes down like that. That's what the original Jordan Simmons looked like. You know what I'm saying? Um. And it looked like they got that down packed, man, that part of it. You know what I'm saying? So I was hoping they would do that. Glad they did. What I will say is my carton, I mean, my uh, Citrus 7s, they fit a little spacious. I'm hopefully, hopefully these fit perfect. 
Um, I didn't want to go back and get an 11 and a half in the centuries because I think that would have been too small. But that, that 12 fit a little bit spacious in those. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, glad I was able to pick up my pair of Air Jordan 7 Cardinal guys. Lordy Shoe, one of my favorites. I think my favorite 7, of course, is the Bordeaux. My second, this might be my second favorite colorway in the uh, in 7s. This might be. Um, I remember when they did them cheap ass, um, those all three M7s they dropped like this when they did the three M pack, and those were terrible. But, uh, I don't know, bro. Like, I think this is my second favorite. I mean, Olympics, okay, Olympics is my second favorite. Let me take that back. Olympics, this might be my third favorite. I just love sevens, man. I love all sevens. Uh, rumors that the Chambray sevens dropping next year, all that stuff. So, uh, we'll see what they do with the sevens, man. I'm glad these drop. Um, this year was actually the 30, what was it, 30th, 30th year anniversary for the 7? Yeah, 7 dropped in 1992. And it's 30th anniversary of Jordan 7, man. So, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to look at them in the sunlight real quick before I... Yeah, man. Got to get that sunlight shot of them, boy. Woof. Woof. Get you some. Hey, Tom, back. Deho cleansed. Man, so anyway, I got to find me some damn super something, bro. Something that's going clear out this gungus bro um jordan 7 cardinal guys on deck glad i was able to secure me a pair um of these man these are just phew, these crazy to me man one this is definitely gonna be in my top 10 of the year that's why i was waiting to do my top 10 because i had to go ahead and get the cardinal sevens first shout out to uh unbreakable kicks he loves jordan sevens as well and he told me how clean these was at hand. I mean, the quality is there. The craftsmanship. Don't mine don't have no mistakes. I looked at that before I left. I didn't see any flaws in them. Y'all probably can. A lot of y'all probably can comment if y'all saw some flaws because I did a pretty close up look at the shoe. Um, so unbreakable kicks. Tony D showed these some love too. So shout out them guys. A lot of people that don't go crazy about sevens like that, which is fine. I'm not hating on that at all, man. You like what you like. You dislike what you dislike. It is what it is. There's a lot of shoes that people like that I think are trash and vice versa. So it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm just glad I was able to get me a pair. Uh, something I really wanted. The day after release for retail at the store, you can't beat that. You feel me? That's that's the good. That's as good as it's going to get right there. So anyway, shout out to everybody. Appreciate y'all for watching. Did y'all go for the sevens? Uh, y'all done for the year? Comment below and let me know. I did take an L on the Travis Scott Jordan 1 Lowe's as always. That shoe is not even debatable to go for resale for me. It wasn't one of my favorite ones. I like them. They look like they got some pretty good materials and it's a dope colorway, but... I don't have to have anything with a black mint. So I like them. I just don't have to have that shoe. And I'm definitely not paying resale for that. I paid resale for the Fragment, Joy One Low, um, Travis Scott. And I paid resale for the uh, Reverse Mochas. I'm not paying it for these uh, these uh, Phantom guys. Not doing it. Anyway, appreciate y'all for watching. Y'all hit a thumbs up. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hit that notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon on them. And keep watching my video, cause that's what I'm here for. Go on. Yeah. Call up the plug, give me a lick. Early kids from Retro Rick. New air bubble like helium lift. So as the blessed, thank God for the gift. Yeah, yeah, it's a hit. Premium fit. No barbecue, but this is it. Hold up, rock, rock, just my hit. With richest kicks, I mean my rich. Yeah, falling all the way to the moon on them. Space Jam going on the tune on them. Sweeping y'all haters, get the broom on them. New heat coming real soon on them. Yeah. My rich fans, shout that's what I got to give for. Thank you for watching these vids, that's what I'm here for it Gone All the way up to the moon on them What's happening to everybody? Life so lighty daddy Hit that Nike store just like your girl Hit Hobby Lobby Then we fly to Abu Dhabi Then we gone Straight up to the moon on them